All right, solemnly click them when you're trying to start it. It takes like a couple of times. You have to hit it the third time for it to start up. Well, if you got one of these things, well, I got this cold air box, but pull the ground cable. You see a little bit of corrosion there. I don't really like these things, but I might. I got this double setup. So you look in there, we got some, it's hard to tell, some little corrosion, but it's really getting me is I tried tightening this up, and uh, it used to be a 5 16 but that's uh, wore out now, so I end up using a little pair of vice grips. 5 16 still fits, but it won't. It just pops in it's loose. So this is why I use a little pair of vice grips. Grab the large portion of this, mind you. Not the little 5 16 part, but the big fat part there. That part. But when I try to tighten these up, I kind of bottom out. As you'll see, the reason being, so there's a shoulder in there. Sorry, shoulder in there. I can see it. So it's bottoming out before it's tightening up the second cable, and it's, you can move it around. So what I'm going to do is pull it apart. Well, when I get both hands, because obviously I can't do it with one hand, and then I'm going to see about putting a washer underneath this shoulder so that it'll, uh, it'll give more basically effectively shorten the uh, grip length this bolt there we go so I can tighten it up come on there we go so that's what we got I already put a washer under it look at that I've already done it once the cables are getting flattened out is what it is so I need to flatten those things two together. That's what it's going to take. Because all it is is that little piece right there. Alright, so let me find another washer and we'll give that a try. Hopefully that's all my issue. Oh, and I'm going to hit this with a little wire brush. Clean them up. Okay, so I opened the separate days up. It's got a little lead spacer apparently in there cleaned everything up with the wire brush inside outside and I have added another washer apparently to my uh, already stacked lock washer and we're gonna thread that all through this one goes on the top It goes on there, in there. And with one hand, let's see if I can thread this through. One thing you want to do when you hook this back up is if you're not wearing a shirt, you don't want to be leaning up against the truck. Because you will get a little bit of a zap going. You'll be the ground. All right, so only problem we got when you tighten these, this is aluminum, this threaded portion. So you don't want to tighten it so much that you strip the aluminum threads out, you destroy your battery then. All right, I'm going to, well, let me try to do it without touching the, see if I can get it started here. And I'll have to use the uh, vice grips on it. It started good. Now that I'm gonna leave stacked like that. Little vice grips. I always put the positive battery cable on first. Take the negative battery cable off first. So you negative is always off when you're touching the positive. Otherwise, if you have the negative on grounded and you have the circuit complete and you touch anything while you're monkeying with this ah, look at that I wonder if I already stripped it I think I probably stripped it ah. well See how that works. I might have to take the uh, washer out of it and uh, 
Not sure what I'm going to do. All right, we'll see how that goes. All right, well, let's see what happens. That's going to hold for now, or what? So good. We'll see how it goes. Suck. All right. So, just as a final check here, those previous videos was on March of 2021. It is now middle of April 2022, and uh, no problem. So have held up for over a year. There you go. It seems to work okay so far. And, uh, not aluminum. These are basically lead in here, so it's even softer than aluminum. But uh, as you can see, you get enough threads in there. Here I am leaning on the front. So, it seems to work pretty good.